The rise of Islam in recent times has extended scores of people from every sphere of life. Many social media influencers, too, have had a change of heart in regard to their religious lives. One such social media influencer is Alex, known primarily for his YouTube channel, I Am Lucid. In this video, we will be shedding some light on his inspiring journey toward Islam. So let's begin. To begin with, born in 2001, Alex was born in Detroit, Michigan, the Muslim capital of the United States. Alex never had any interest in school and grew up playing video games with his cousins. In that regard, he made a YouTube channel named X Gravity, where he would upload League of Legends and Call of Duty gameplays. During his early high school days, he was infatuated with lucid dreaming. In 2016, his first tutorial to instigate lucid dreaming came out. After that, he created content on lucid dreaming, ultimately changing his channel's name to I Am Lucid. He also streams on Twitch. Now coming to the spiritual life of Alex growing up, he was told to follow what he described as social Islam. Whenever he saw a sleeper upside down, he would rush and set it out right. Similarly, he was told that if he wore a necklace or a bracelet with a blue eye, he would be protected from the evil energy of the people around him. However, those beliefs didn't make sense to Alex, and he was reluctant to accept them. He now recalls, those beliefs were the farthest thing from Islam, and made you a third-class Muslim at best. Moving on, by the age of eight or nine, Alex had serious doubts about Islam. What pushed him over the edge was his middle school teacher who told his entire class that they should not believe in God because God is not real, doesn't exist, and is just a conspiracy that man made up so that people can do things and not hurt each other. So by the age of 12, Alex had completely rejected the idea of Islam and remained an atheist for years to come. Proceeding ahead, the unanswered questions that Alex had about God at that time were, why does God put us here to grief and suffer? Why doesn't he just show us a sign? Why can't I just be a good person without praying, fasting, etc.? Why would a merciful God allow hardship and stress? Why does an all-knowing God have to test us? Shouldn't he know the results? And most importantly, he was adamant that seeing is believing. He wanted to actually see God, to be able to have a belief in Him. In order to acquire the answers to these questions, Alex began his spiritual journey. He would meditate and think introspectively for the majority of his day, asking and answering questions that just seemed right. He ended up adopting the ideology from people online and discord that we are all God and that everything that ever existed is God. What Alex likes to call I am you religion basically meant that we are all one, meaning that all humans are the same. Soon, Alex couldn't help but dig deep into the concept, and when he did, it didn't make much sense to him. When his world views began to crumble on him, he started to go through an existential crisis. It was one of the darkest times of his entire life, as he recalls. Nothing felt real at all. I would look at my hands and think there's no way I actually exist right now. Moving on, at Alex's all-time low, Allah was there to help him. Alex stopped following the social Islam, picked up the Quran, and decided to give the real Islam a chance. Here's how Alex recalled that time. The words that I was reading felt like they were coming from my Creator. I used my own logic and reason to come to the conclusion that Quran is written. The following verse of the Qur'an particularly grabbed Alex's attention. Do the believers not realize that the heavens and earth were once one mass, then we split them apart, and we created from water every living thing? Will they not then believe? Upon reading that verse, Alex's jaw dropped, and he began to shiver. He knew that Qur'an was more serious than social Islam made up fantasy. Finally, the verse we built the universe with great might, and we are certainly expanding it. Sealed the deal for Alex. He kept on reading Quran, 
and found out that all of its verses resonated with modern science. Here's how Alex recalls this epiphany. This is the truth. I felt more alive, at peace, and determined than ever. If God is with me, nobody can stop me. And that is how Alex ended up saying his Shahada and joining the fold of Islam. Anyhow, Alex has only recently revealed his Muslim identity publicly. He was actually advised not to do so by his close friends, as they believe he would lose many of his followers and subscribers. That hasn't been the case so far. In fact, he's been receiving encouraging responses on his social media handles. For instance, one of his YouTube viewers wrote, Man, you can't hate this guy. You are by far the most relatable person in this platform for me. Your journey with Islam was almost identical to mine. I'm glad we both are back on the correct path. Alhamdulillah. Likewise, one of his Christian followers wrote, As a Christian, I respect how open and honest you are about your previous struggles with your religion because I went down a similar path. Regardless of our differences in faith, I could never unsubscribe because you have massively encouraged me to start my channel. Thank you. Finally, Alex continues to make a variety of content related to the dark web, virtual reality, technology, conspiracy, controversy, self-control, self-growth vlogs, and hip-hop. And more importantly, with each passing moment, he's gaining popularity. May Allah continue to shower his blessings upon brother Alex and succeed him in all his endeavors. I mean...